okay welcome um, today we're going to make uh, this shot 3d what we're going to do is first of all create a new camera then we create a new solid make it white and then make it 3d we rotate it this will be our left wall put a grid effect on it grid so it's easier to align mm -hmm. Then we duplicate this layer, just rename it to left wall, control T, right wall, remove it. Ah, the, other, the other wall is actually not so great. Something like this. This one I'm going to adjust a little bit more. This is a little bit better. Let's start shutting down the effects. Press T for opacity 50%. Mask out the edges. I'm going to do I'm going to do this like really quick. It's better that you do it very accurate. Feather it MN Oop. and let's feather it like 10 pixels. Okay. Then do the same for the right wall. First shut down the FX. T opacity, make it 50. This can go to 100 again. And let's do the same, mask out the edges of the right wall, of course. I recommend you to do this better than I do. MM, 10 pixels. Okay. Now create a new solid, make it 3D, push it back in Z space, let's go to top view, let's put it around like here, go to active camera, T opacity and start painting. M. and opacity to 100% then the last solid we have to make uh, I'm not going to do the plants and stuff um, so we call this the background make it 3D push it back far far go to top view and it's behind the actor so it's okay active camera and make it bigger then uh, this one obesity that was not 100% this one okay so now we're going to create a spotlight new light spotlight make sure it's cast shadows is on okay press P on the camera on the light and on the footage um, oh, don't forget to put this on 3D. Now we're going to copy the position of the camera and we paste it on the light and we paste it as well on the footage. We go to um, top view and we place the um, footage layer a little bit in front of the camera and the light. Then we go back to active camera and we scale down the footage layer so that the footage layer match the comp size like this. And then we press AA, cast shadows, we press two times, and so it's cast shadows only. And we do the light transmission on 100%. We select all the solids, press AA, and we go to cast shadows off and accept lights as well off. Now you see that the quality reduced a lot, so we go to composition, comp settings, composition settings, advanced options and we go to 4000 for shadow map resolution so hop, we're back at the original now we are going to create um, the 3d effect we do layer camera and create stereo 3d rig as you can see everything is white that means like 
there's no projection so what we're going to do is we copy the camera the light and the footage layer Control c and we paste it in here but we paste it underneath everything we do it as well for the right camera paste it place it underneath and as we can see now it's like pfft, it's 3d but it's like really dark so what i figured out is you just have to make an uh, adjustment layer and put it beneath those two things and we do the same as well for this comp adjustment layer put it beneath so now the light is fixed we're going to add some smoke in the comp but first na, 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 na. we're going to do it like this this is my stereo project and here we're going to have the composition footage so let's place a smoke in this comp the smoke is from video co-pilot uh, Andrew Kramer we put it above the light we have to make it 3D of course let's go to top view and let's place it behind our uh, actor and in front of the background active camera and we scale the layer like this let's do some color correction curves place it on the atmosphere layer and we go to alpha push it push it so you see it let's use a fill effect and uh, let's color it don't use the red because you have probably red and blue glasses so we change the color in something unrealistic let's make it green like some toxic smoke uh, we copy the layer control D and we flip it and we uh, change it in time oh don't you well, i can also change this one as well now better to change this one let's do something like this uh but now we go to top camera and we the duplicate we move it in front of the actor something like this go back to active camera and uh, now we have also smoke in front of him it's not great at all <sighs> i guess we can change the color of course easily it's like uh, really blurry so we have to select the comp we go to composition composition settings advanced options and make it 4000 and we do it as well for the right eye composition composition settings and we go to options we go to 4000 and now we're going to see everything is much more clearer the stereo effect is much better now 